Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for young people in schools and colleges. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant to pray, Almighty God, that the newness of the nativity in the flesh of your only begotten Son may set us free, for ancient servitude holds us bound beneath the yoke of sin. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. I'm writing to you, my own children, whose sins have already been forgiven through his name. I'm writing to you, fathers, who have come to know the one who has existed since the beginning. I'm writing to you, young men, who've overcome the evil one. I have written to you, children, because you already know the Father. I've written to you, fathers, because you have come to know the one who existed since the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong, and God's word has made its home in you, and you have overcome the evil one. You must not love this passing world or anything that's in the world. The love of the Father cannot be in any man who loves the world, because nothing the world has to offer, the sensual body, the lustful eye, Pride in possessions could ever come from the Father, but only from the world, and the world with all, which all it craves for is coming to end. But anyone who does the will of God remains forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Give the Lord you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power, Give the Lord the glory of his name. Let, Let the heavens, heavens rejoice and, and the earth be glad. be glad. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. The, the heavens, heavens rejoice, rejoice and, and the earth, earth be, glad. be glad. Proclaim to the nations God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the, the heavens, heavens rejoice, rejoice and the earth be glad. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. At various times in the past and in various different ways, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. But in our own time, the last days, he has spoken to us through his son. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. There was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was well on in years, her days of girlhood over. She had been married for seven years before becoming a widow. She was now 84 years old and never left the temple, serving God night and day with fasting and prayer. She came by just at that moment when and began to praise God. 
and she spoke of the child to all who looked forward to the deliverance of Jerusalem. When they had done everything the law of the Lord required, they went back to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth. Meanwhile, the child grew to maturity, and he was filled with wisdom, and God's favor was with him. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> the story of the presentation is incomplete without the person of Anna called the prophetess. Luke is precisely the gospel <clears throat> that emphasizes that Jesus is the prophet above all the other prophets. But this is the only time that he gives a title to a woman, itself a characteristic of the evangelist. Anna is a witness to the whole attitude that all Israel is called to have. And like all the prophetess, she speaks out the truth of God, hear of the child Jesus and of the deliverance that he brings. John addresses the various generations of fathers, young men and children. They are all to shun the passing world. As in the gospel, world refers to everything that is negative. Twice he mentions the one who existed from the beginning, thus stressing the source of that which is eternal. Like Anna and Simeon, let us live the gospel and witness to God's truth in our lives. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, May we learn to enjoy what you give us here on earth, but never cling to them. Make our hearts wide enough to turn towards you. Lord, hear us. We pray with Mary as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, 
that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize him in God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son, and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son, and the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, <clears throat> we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, <coughs> would, <coughs> would bless her Joseph, her spouse, we, the blessed apostles and all the saints, have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. <coughs> Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. 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 Body of Let us pray. O oh God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.